Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to create our own exception class. So you can create your own exception class by simply extending the exception class and adding some constructor methods. And be sure to manually throw the exception in the try block when you're trying to use your exception class because Java is unaware of this new exception class that you created and doesn't know when to throw it. And also we're going to make use of the get message exception method in the catch block. So let's take a look at an example of creating our own exception class. Alright, so first let's write a program that asks the user to enter a number between 1 and 10. So first I'll create a scanner object called keyboard. Alright, let's import scanner. And then ask the user to enter a number between 1 and 10. Then the user is going to type in an integer and let's call it num and assign that to keyboard.nextint. And what we're going to do here is check if num is less than 1 or num is greater than 10, then we want something to happen here. More specifically, we want to throw a new type of exception called an invalid number exception, which doesn't exist yet in Java, but we can create it ourselves. Select new class, and I'll call it an invalid number exception. And then click finish. So here's the new class, and what it should do is it, is it should extend exception. You could also extend throwable as well. And we'll create a constructor. Let's create two constructors. public invalid number exception. This is the default constructor and what we're going to do is pass to super invalid number it should be between 1 and 10. And then we'll create another constructor that looks like this public invalid number exception. Remember the constructor name is the same name as the class. And we'll pass in a string. String message is fine and we'll just pass that message to super and we'll I'm gonna show you guys how to use both of these constructors in your class alright so let's go back to demo and here this is the code where something went wrong is when they entered it right there okay so let's we'll surround that with a try all that code and let's indent it control a control I and if that happens what we want to do is catch for the invalid number exception let's call it E and what we're gonna print out here is some that out that print line E dot get message right and the reason I'm getting an error for this catch block is because this try doesn't actually throw an invalid number exception. So what we're going to do is in this if statement, we're going to manually throw it. So when you create your own exception classes, you should manually throw your exception. And this is how to do it. So if, the, if it's true that the number is less than 1 or greater than 10, throw new invalid number exception. Just like that, the error in the catch block goes away. Let's run the program and see what happens. Turn number between 1 and 10. 5, right? Program works fine. I don't get any issues. Let's run it again. Enter a number between 1 and 10. Enter 12. Invalid number should be between 1 and 10. It automatically threw the exception based on my if statement. And it, it actually forced the code to come down here and I'm printing out e.getMessage. But what is e.getMessage? So since I threw an invalid number exception with empty parentheses, it's going to the constructor that has empty parentheses. And alternatively, I could have passed in my own string in the parentheses, and it would have customized it to whatever I wanted it to print. So we could do that by, by going in these parentheses and saying, not a valid number. I mean, here's your own custom message. Run it again. 
I'll type in a negative number this time, negative 5, not a valid number. So based on whether I have something in the parentheses, it'll get that from the get message. And if I didn't have anything in there, it'll get the default message using the default constructor. And that is how you create your own exception classes in Java.